Dr. Yak, you're a physician by training, also an engineer, and you're here with us at the Big Data Conference. How do you meld all of your interests together? Well, I, I have a confession, which is I'm only a wannabe engineer. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, You've succeeded I, so far. <laughs> um, I, I, uh, um, I, you know, I kind of go where I think there's a need, and, and uh, I was a interventional cardiologist doing procedures, and uh, there were some aspects of the procedures that were just hard to do, and they, they, they weren't always working. So I kind of started trying to, to design things that would work better, and that's what brought me over into engineering. So you identified something that was missing in your own clinical practice and took that back to the bench. Yeah, I think uh, we have a luxury as physicians of being in the trenches and, and seeing what things don't work well. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's the whole secret to inventing something is appreciating the need. Right. And tell me about what you invented. Well, let's see. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the first thing that I did was a, a new balloon angioplasty standing system. So when I trained, uh, it took two doctors to do angioplasty, and, the, and the, the, the second person was kind of a flunky uh, in, in the respect that it was easy to mess up the way that the equipment was designed, and I kept messing up, and it made me <laughs> mad. Uh, so uh, I, I thought, surely there's a better way to do this. So I designed a system that, that only takes one doctor to do an angioplasty. Oh, wow, and that frees up a whole other cardiologist to do it, other procedures. It, it does. Uh, of course, there was tremendous resistance to doing that <laughs> at the beginning, but right. it's, it's the way we've gone now. So. Right. Yeah. Wow. And what are you working on now? What are some of your interests now? Well, uh, one of the things I do right now is uh, I direct a finishing school for inventors uh, hmm. called the Biodesign Program. And, and our premise is that there's a process of inventing uh, that you can follow. And it starts with what we just talked about, which is getting the need right. Uh, we say that a well-characterized need is the DNA of a good invention. Right. And so we teach needs finding, and we have uh, fellows and graduate students who go through this process and invent new technologies. That's very fascinating. That reminds me, you know, my father, he's a very avid badminton player, mm. and he couldn't find a, an appropriate partner to play with, so he invented his own badminton serving machine. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Similar. And what have you thought of the Big Data Conference so far? Well, so this is a, a new frontier for us gizmologists. We are trying to figure out, uh, clearly there's a transformative uh, thing going on with respect to trying to change the connection between patients and providers. And data has a big part to do with that. Personalized data, being able to understand the data. For the device side of things, we need to understand how it is that we can collect the right data, uh, understand it, keep it private, make it manageable for the providers. All of those things are tremendous challenges that we're just starting to chew on. And how do you think we'll tackle these challenges going forwards? Whose role is it even to, to tackle these challenges? It's a good question whose role it is. Uh, this is absolutely multidisciplinary. So this is going to be a combination of uh, engineers and, and physicians uh, providers, of course. But what's interesting is that we need many more kinds of people. We need psychologists uh, to understand how people interface with devices, interface with information. We could use anthropologists to, to mm. know what impact uh, these kinds of new techniques of, of finding out more information are, are, are going to have on people. So this is a very broadly interdisciplinary area. That's great. Sounds like there's a role for everyone, not just limited to physicians and scientists. Absolutely. A everybody except the lawyers. <laughs> I'm sure they'll play some part, too, when the privacy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> issues come in. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure speaking with you today, Dr. Yaw. Thank Same you so here. much Thank for your you. time.